Hello, and welcome to a random little rambling of mine. And, uh, recently I bought a VIC-20. Yay, this is just the top part. Top keyboard part. It's currently in pieces down here. And here's the bottom part, logic board, because yeah, I'm in the process of repairing it. It's dead currently. I think the CPU crapped out, but... I'm not 100% sure about that. I'll have to see if I can find somebody with an oscilloscope who can test that out. It worked briefly for a little bit, and then it just stopped working. So, yeah, old electronics, you never know. But it did work briefly, and then it just died. So, anyway, I'm in the process of trying to fix it, and that'll probably be what my next video is about, maybe. You'll, you'll see it eventually. So, anyway, it came with a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cartridges and whatnot. And one of the things it came with was this book. It was one of the more interesting things. 50 easy to run computer games for your VIC-20. It is from uh, 1983. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little uh, type-in games for your uh, VIC-20. And they work, most of these will work on like a 64 or whatever. So yeah, just short little type-in programs. And that was actually a fairly common thing back in the day to like, type in a program from a book or a magazine and there was one in here that really caught my attention and some of them are kind of fun but this one's one that really caught my attention it's called programmer here's what the description says programming in basic or any other language requires that you pay attention and be careful a misplaced comma or misspelled word can result in a great big bug the object of the programmer is to see how well you can copy basic statements six different statements are randomly presented and you must copy each statement presented exactly as shown if you make an error statement will be presented again here's how to interpret some of the uh the your score at the end and then here's an example of what it looks like when you run it and then here's the code you can type in so uh yeah there's a fair bit of irony here because it's a basic program that you type in for a from a book that gauges how good you are at typing in basic code. I just found that kind of amusing. So I have it typed into my uh, 64 here. Yeah, not a super long program. And uh, I'm going to show it to you here. And let's see how well I do. It's going to be kind of awkward playing at an angle like this. Because I have the camera set up here where I usually sit. But anyway, okay, so it gave me a time there, time 44, and we can look that up in the uh, book here, and that is a B, so mediocre-ish. So yeah, the if statement one is the one that always throws me off. That one's a pretty long, awkward one to type in. But anyway, yeah. I just think it's, it's really amusing that there's like a type in basic program from a book that sort of judges your ability to uh, type in basic code and type in a basic program so you know. You can spend all this time typing in basic code from this book to get this game, and the game is just typing in more basic code. Just thought that was funny, and just thought I'd share that with you. So anyway, hope you found this kind of amusing.